hey, it's around here. I am creating a membership site in system.io. And I thought I'll record my screen and show you how to go through this process step by step. So this particular product that I'm creating is actually a tech support membership for system IO. And it's a really simple membership site. I'm going to use the courses feature to create it. And I thought it'll be a good example to show you how to set it up because it's a really simple type setup. So let me share my screen and show you how it's done. So the first thing is you want to hover over products, click on courses, then you'll end up under the courses section. Then I'm going to click on add new course. I'm now going to give this a course title. So it's going to be system.io tech support membership. And then I'm going to give it the instructor name, meaning it's me. So whoever is the owner language is English description. You want to give a description to your course or membership. This, this is the tech support membership for system.io customers who want to get hands on guidance through from an experienced tech, tech team who can answer questions and challenges with speed, along with unlocking the potential of using all the features in System.io. Okay, I, I might revise this, but this is just a good start. Then you want to choose the domain. In my case, most of my courses are primarily under the members.com truths. That's the brand name. I'm going to call this um, System.io tech support. That's the name of this, PCT. I'm going to give this a font, which is going to be Poppins. You know? The default theme, I'm going to make this uh, blue, just because that's kind of a system IO type thing. And you want to get my photo. So I'm going to get my picture. This is my picture. Now, you typically want to get a logo or a course cover. I'm just going to get the logo for now. Okay, and I'm going to need a course cover as well for this. So I'm going to go ahead and create that on Canva. Here I am on Canva. I've created this. I took this webinar thumbnail, duplicated it by clicking on this button. And then I played around with it to kind of give it a title and make it a little bit more center because the sides is probably not going to be as visible. Then I click on share, click on download, make it PNG, choose the page, choose the size and click on download. Once I've done that, I now have the PNG on my computer under download and I can click to upload, click on the thumbnail, click on open. It will show me the spacing. I can can also move this around and things like that, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Click on the click here to upload. And then the course cover is up. Now this text, this and this is all going to appear on what this looks like the school page, basically. So you'll end up seeing the course right here. If somebody is able to sign up for it, or it's going to be under enrollment. That's how that's going to look like. Now we're not going to add a sales page right here yet. We're going to leave this blank for the moment. And now what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we're going to click on save. And then we have this here. Now you'll notice that the status is inactive. So we're going to leave it like that. We're going to click into it. And now we're going to create the individual lessons and modules. So module number one, I'm going to call this start here, new member, start here, like so. And then I'm going to click here, click on add lecture, and I'm going to call this welcome. I'm going to click on select template, click on save, click into it. Now what I like to do is basically just delete everything that's here. I'm going to title, put some text. Now I'm going to fill in the details separately, but I will also do a little welcome video as well. And I will also do a button for the onboarding. So I'm going to go to blocks in my case, because I already have a button that's already pre-created. Go here, search for the word button, drag it in basically. And I'm going to put this video above as well. I'm going to click here on the section, make it smaller like so. Click here, make the margin by 30. And then I'll fill in these details, uh, record the video and upload it here. So I'll, I'll populate all that stuff separately. I just wanted to show you me setting it up. So that's that. I'm going to exit. So this is the welcome. I'm going to have a very similar lesson. So I'm going to click on duplicate and I'm going to rename this. So click here to settings, onboarding 101. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate. I'm 
and I'm going to duplicate this again. And this one, I'm going to call this Now I'm going to add a module creating a course or a digital product. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Now that I've created this extra lesson, I can actually drag it under like so, and I'm going to duplicate this. Now this one, I'm going to call this something else. I'm going to click here on settings, creating a lesson. Let's duplicate that. Okay. We'll leave this blank. Now we're going to do another module. And then we're going to now drag this below. Here it is. We're going to rename this. And so on. And then we can also do a little module on member only offers and discounts as well. Okay, so we'll create something like that. Again, I could just delete what's here. And basically now you've got the entire course area set up. Of course I can add more modules and I got to go in and actually customize it. I've got a different tutorial on that, but that's how you basically set up a course. So now I've got a bit of a framework on what I want to create. And then I can of course always evolve it as I continue. So that's about it. This is how this works with setting up a course from A to Z. If you have any questions, let me know, leave a comment below and if you want to see this particular membership, you can uh, go check it out. It's going to be linked in the comment section pinned, and also it'll be in the description or somewhere around here for you to click. So that's about it. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon.